all right y'all welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing some feeding down here in the fish room this is going to be a two-part series of feeding all the fish first we're going to do this side of the fish room here and then in the next video we'll do this side of the fish room so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but we're just going to go through feed some of these fish so you guys just sit back relax and enjoy let's get to it first we got to start with the exodons because you know why not just a super dope fish. Let me turn the aperture down. So you guys can get a better view. So I'm just feeding some blood worms and brine shrimp right now. You see how active they are when they start feeding. I picked this cat's in there going crazy as well. Super dope fish, probably one of my favorites. I had these guys for probably about a year or so now, and uh, they have definitely put on a lot of size. And just been a really cool fish to watch. You can see how their behavior is when they're eating, especially those cats. Cats in there going nuts. We'll let them finish that up and we'll come back. Next fish I want to feed, or next tank I should say, is this aquarium here. Let me turn the aperture up a little bit so you guys can see these fish. There are electric blues, filamental barbs, Australian rainbows. Cool little tank. I'm not even gonna cap. See everybody going crazy. Put the little angel fish. Some filamental bars be going nuts. Yeah, this is a fun tank to feed. All the activity going on there. Got our jewels. They're looking good. This is the best part of my day sometimes. It's just coming home from work, feeding my fish. These guys haven't came out on me get them some food. <laughs> them bars come right over, they, they find the food, don't they? They kind of like the exodons in a way. Look at these guys still over there. Ready to eat. All right, let's head down to the next tank. Got another like community style aquarium here with a bunch of mixed different fish, swordtails, different type of tetras, uh, carbences. Just another little fun, peaceful tank to look at. I had a lot of these fish for a long time and just don't want to get rid of them. And I just let them live out their lives. That's another fun little tank to feed. Definitely a dope little tank. Only ran by a sponge filter, that's it. This is a sponge filter and just some rocks and some plants. Uh, the most simplest thing, a little pothos plant up there. Some hornwort floating. And the water quality is amazing on this aquarium. I believe in water changes. If you don't have all the filtration, do water changes and put some plants in there and you'll be all right. Look at 
that little Kerbency right there. Starting to show some color. Dope little tank, man. Down here we got our a car pair. Their eggs just um, hatched today. Pretty much the next day for me filming the last video. See if they really hungry. So they got some little wigglers down there up in the rocks. Probably can't see them on camera, but I can see them wiggling. So definitely got our little pair going. And probably got some, we got some bristle nose in here. I'm gonna have to put in some uh, wafers and stuff off camera for the pleco that's in here. Smoke food over here, come get it. Everybody eats. Gotta get y'all fed up so y'all can keep producing for me. All right, so down here, we got some multis. And it's probably about, I see another one right here. We got some multis in here, but they just still very shy. So we'll see if we can get them to come out on camera. I'm definitely gonna be redoing this tank, taking those fake plants out of here. And I'm gonna cap everything with some nice soft sand for these guys. Just haven't got around to it, but there's a um, there's one back there. Still been trying to get these guys and not be so shy, but when I'm not sitting in front of the tank, see some another one hanging out over here as well. When I'm not all in front of the tank, they'd be out and about, but they're still very small. Just gotta give them time. Oh, over here, we got my little Bicer right here that I had in the aquarium for a very long time. And he was always hiding, I never seen him, but I finally found him. So I moved him in here for right now because I gotta get this dude to grow. So we'll see if he eat, he might not though. It's a very strange Bashar. He was in this aquarium right here, and he was hiding up under all the rocks, and I wouldn't see him for weeks to months, so I didn't know if he was eating or doing anything. So I finally caught him up out of there, and I put him down here so we can get him fat. And here we got some uh, Kerbenses. You can see him back here. This is my breeding pair of Kerbenses. Uh, just moved these guys to this aquarium. Um, so they're still fairly new to this tank and getting used to it. It's a very bright tank. And uh, I've kept them on like darker substrate since I've had them. So more of a darker aquarium. So they're, their colors even look different being on this skin escape right here. But there's definitely a pair in here. Oh, I can see the other one peeping his little head out right here. We see you, buddy. Yeah, dope little pair. And got a lot of bait. That's where all these babies come from. And then I even got some babies outside in some ponds outside growing out as well. Down here, we got these pair of black angels. Let's get them eaten. I, I feed these guys a lot because I'm trying to get them to breed. Uh, so I'm always feeding these guys to entice them to breed. So they might not even be too hungry, honestly, because I, I feed them a few times a day. Or they're just like little small pellets, flakes. Like I just try to keep their bellies full. And I don't see the other ones, but they, I think she hides behind that slate over there. Oh, there she go. Or is that the male? I think that's actually the male. I don't know. <laughs> But these guys definitely have laid eggs for me. And uh, just only one time, I'm trying to get them to go again. But got any suggestions on that, just let me know. I do a lot of water changes, you know, and I feed them heavy, so we'll see what happens. Now here, which is a dope little tank, got some flag festums in here that 
always are hiding. So I don't know if we're even gonna be able to see them right now. I see one right here. You can see them back there hiding. Let me just throw a lot of food in here and get it to come out. Got to entice him. See his little head peeking back there. That's the male back there. And the female, I don't see the female. But the male's huge. If he comes from behind that, that rock, you guys will be able to see how beautiful. There he is. Beautiful little fish. Man, that's a good shot of you. So yeah, that's the male, and as a female, she's smaller, and they definitely have tried to lay eggs in here. Um, they're just not good parents yet, so I'm just working on them. That's all I can do. But this tank dope with this fish. Let me give y'all a little backup view. I don't see the female, though. She probably, she like hides in between that little piece of twig and that rock right there. She's a lot smaller than him, so she can hide. But they lay eggs right here before, but they haven't hatched. We'll keep trying. Down here we got some barbs, some rosy barbs, and some tiger barbs that I just recently moved to this tank. The dope little fish, very active when it comes to eating, obviously. Dope little fish. Down here we got our pearl gouramis. Uh, we got some brevises, shell dwellers in here. Um, there's a betta that hangs out up top over there. And then there's a few miscellaneous shrimp in here as well. Just moved these guys into this tank. It's a temporary setup for these fish, um, but just trying to see if it works. And oh yeah, there's I be forgetting because they guys are always high. You see right back there, the Kabinsi back there. Yeah, and I feed heavy like this all the time because I need my fish to grow and be fat and healthy. And I don't just feed like live or frozen. I, I feed um, pellets, flake as well. Um, just nice for feeding videos to feed them the blood and the brine. And it's a little treat for them, but I don't feed this every day. They're a little better coming out. Very docile, nice little better. Don't be fighting nobody. Let's throw some more in here with these X dimes, though. I can feed these fish all day. And sometimes they like super active when they're eating. Right now they're kind of like um, semi-active. But they still eating. Get another round, honestly. Especially these fish right here in particular. Going crazy. Going 
going crazy. But yeah, that's going to conclude part one of feeding the fish. Um, guys, let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite tank on this side of my fish room? Let me know in the comment section and stay tuned for part two because we'll be feeding this side. I'm out of here.